Hey guys, it's Sarah and we are going to purge my drawers now. Sorry, this is like the worst, like most awkward angle ever, but I have to work with my tripod. <laughs> so, and it's a little awkward, um, but it's better than handheld, at least it's still. So I have five drawers here. This is on the side, left side of my desk from Ikea. I don't know the names of these drawers anymore, but it's a, you know, you buy them separately and they have the handles and the cutouts and all that. So we're gonna go through these. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna end up getting rid of, but we'll see what it is. All right, so top drawer here is usually just tools and adhesives and stuff. So I have rulers here and you know, I use those. Here's my fine line empty bottle that I need to refill. So I'll put that over here with my other one. Um, I have post-it notes, I have ATG adhesive, I have foam dots. Uh, lots of tape, <laughs> which will probably come in handy in the move. So all this stuff really is, you know, stuff I'm going to use and stuff I'm going to get use out of. There's nothing in here that I won't use somehow or eventually. Um, so let me, I'm, I'm double checking, but yeah, these are all like stuff I will definitely use. Most of it is adhesive and, you know, post-its and stuff. So all that's going to stay because it's just, it's stuff I will use and reach for. I don't keep that, you know, too, too messy. Okay. I have two of these Amy Tangerine mats. I don't need two of them. So I will throw one probably in the mixed media box. Um, okay. These are epoxy circles and I was using these to do like homemade flare badges. However, these are yellowed, um, especially the big ones, as you can see. These actually aren't. These little ones are not, but I don't print out things or have things that are this small. I usually have like the one inch ones, but these are yellowed. So I don't want to use them because they are going to make my stuff look bad and old. So these were not a good idea. It's all right. Um, and you know, these I don't I don't reach for or use. I could potentially use them on something, so maybe I'll hang on to the small ones since they are not yellowed. And um, yeah, so maybe I'll stick these with my stickers though. All right, and the rest of everything in here are punches. So I have all these punches, which I, um, I don't have a ton. I don't use them all that much either but I don't have a ton. So I'm actually really good um, keeping all of these. Like this is all the punches that I have and that's it. So I'm good with keeping these. I don't feel like I need to get rid of anything. Okay. Um, so this right here has a lot of branding strips that I like. They have patterns on them or sayings on them that I would definitely use somehow. So I don't mind keeping these as well. I'll probably, I don't know if I would keep them in this big of a box. As you can see, this is a really big box to keep those in, uh, but we'll see. And these are all my doilies, which I definitely wanna keep. So, and my wax paper that obviously I keep because I use that for my thickers. So, yep, so far we are not getting rid of anything. Okay, um, these are more tools. Oh, look, I had another fine line bottle. Fantastic. Oh, it didn't have the cap on it, though. That's why. Okay. Um, I did hear that you can buy the cap by itself, but I have not seen that at Hobby Lobby, so I don't know. I'll hang on to it anyway. It's fine. Um, I have this label maker that does not work anymore, so I'll figure out something to do with that. But um, you can't even see the letters on it when it prints, or before it prints, you can't tell what you're typing. Um, I have pipe cleaners. I don't know why I have pipe cleaners. That's kind of a lot of pipe cleaners. So, I mean, it's fine. I don't really know why I have them, but. And then these are all my tools, like glue gun, heat tool, my label maker that works. Um, Okay, this, these stamps stuff here. Um, I did have a comment that someone said that the stays on cleaner actually can break down the acrylic um, stamps. And I'll be honest with you, like I, I haven't had that happen, but I haven't used this all that much. Um, so I think I just, like I don't need to hang on to these two things. So I have the stamp scrubber cleaning pad, which is pretty gross. And then this, 
So if this is going to mess up acrylic, that's really all I use. I don't use wood mounting stamps very often. So I probably don't really need to keep these. And I think if I want to clean my stamps, I can clean them with like, you know, other things. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these two things. I really don't think I need to use them. And especially if they're going to break down the only stamps that I use, then there's no point in, you know, doing that. But if you guys have good stamp cleaning techniques, let me know for sure. Um, okay, so I have my... Fuse tool here, which I have a hate love hate relationship with, but I'm not getting rid of it. And then these are my uh, re these are replacement blades for my craft knife, which is nice. Um, and that's it in there. And let's see what's down here. Okay, uh, lots of paint. Okay, here we go. Um, now this is a little. Um, wax stamping thing that my husband got for me a while ago. I've used it once and it was okay, but I don't think I'll ever use it again. <laughs> so it's a sealing wax kit. That's what it is. Um, it was, it was fine. It was a cute idea, but I'm, I'm never going to use this again. So I don't know if I should put this in a giveaway box or if I should donate it to Goodwill because it's not, I mean, it's kind of, um, scrapbooking really, but not really. It's not an actual scrapbooking supply. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to give this to Goodwill. I don't think I'm going to put that in a scrapbooking box. This is a close to my heart tray where you can um, put like powder or embossing stuff and then, you know, pour it back in very easily. So I'll keep this for sure. Um, watercolors. I'm going to toss this. I don't need it. It's kind of gross and the girls have other paints they can use. I have a ton of paintbrushes, which I'll keep. Um, lots of paintbrushes. Okay, here's another uh, palette knife thing. So I'll put this with my um, mixed media bag. All right, here's some embossing. Oh, yay, yay. <laughs> I got like this pack of embossing powders and it came in these little tubes. It was a huge pack. I've used this stuff before and it's not very good. Um, the stuff in the tins are much, or like the round things are much better, like the zing and all that. Like that's much, much better for embossing. I don't emboss all that much, but I think I would want to maybe hang on to the good ones and still give it a try. I think I don't want to get rid of it. I might want to get rid of these things, so maybe I'll put these in the mixed media and see if someone else who has more experience embossing and is better at it than me. I am a terrible embosser, you guys. I really, truly am. But I think I'll keep the round, the big round ones because I think I want to dabble a little bit more into embossing. Um, so... I think I will just keep these and then the rest of them I will put in the mixed media bag. Yeah, okay. So not that like all oh, these are terrible, but I, I personally didn't like them and I am like the world's worst embosser. So I may be completely wrong on that or someone who is really good at it may have more tricks than me or know how to do stuff better than me. And I'm not kidding about that. Like you guys are better than me. So um, I'm just going to keep the four big round ones and then these I will put in the mixed media box. Okay. And then all I have left here are these paints and... Um, yeah, I'm going to hang on to them because my girls, you know, they use them for projects or if they have something to do. Oh, like, okay, this I'll get rid of because that's like practically gone. Um, I think I have a blue one in here too. The blue one is actually still a bunch, but the yellow is like just about gone. So I'm not going to worry about moving that. Um, but yeah, everything else I'll keep. So I think, I don't know if they will move acrylic paint like this. I hope so. I know they won't do like big cans of like house paint or anything, but the acrylic paint might be okay. I'm going to have to ask if they'll move that because I don't want to have to take it in my car with me. <laughs> I don't like paint that much, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm going to hang on to these because my girls will use them for something and every so often, you know, we'll, we'll get some sort of use out of them. And um, that's it guys. That is all for this. I think since I'm going on a little bit more of a mixed media type thing here, I think I might do my rotating um, stand that is on my desk. It's tall and teal and it rotates and it has shelves in it. So I think I'll do that real quick and see 
if there's anything I want to get rid of, I'm going to take a look real quick just before I move my camera and everything to see if it would be worth, you know, looking at it. I actually don't think so, though, you guys. I do have a lot of spray mist that uh, I don't think I'm going to use. I do have um, this gesso here. What is this? Uh, canvas primer? Hmm. Well... Oh, I don't know. Actually, Kaylin could probably use canvas primer because she, my daughter loves to paint and she wants to start painting some more canvases and stuff. So this could actually work for her um, if she wants to do that. So yeah, maybe that's okay. I have some distress stain that I don't use all that much and I have some paint daubers that I don't use all that much, but they're very old. So I don't know how good they still are. This one actually looks like it's separated a bit. Um... 2013 for both of these. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if those are good anymore. Um, I've used them a couple times, actually, but just not in a very, very long time. So I don't know. I think these two I'd probably be okay getting rid of because I just don't use them. I do have a lot of spray mist, but I don't, you know, I have kind of my favorites and I go for those. Like my Heidi Swap Color Shine is my favorites. I do have a lot of Studio Calico as well but I don't reach for them all that much. Oh, and then I have some Distress Paint here in Evergreen Bow, so I, I don't use this either. Um, and another Mr. Huey's Ink Dauber that is not even open. So I think these things, you know, definitely I'm good to pass on. Um, and then Distress Stain. I just, I don't know, I don't use this stuff. If I use anything like this, I'm going to use... Heidi Swap. <laughs> okay, so for my giveaway, I've had quite a few questions of people asking uh, when I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, how they can get in on it. I am going to be doing one giveaway video on my channel the first week of May. And I'm going to have everything in there. I don't know how many boxes I'm gonna to have to give away yet. My goal right now is two. And I also plan to have a mixed media box because mixed media is not for everybody. So that's how it's gonna work. And I will have that video up the first week of May. I'm not sure what day yet. I'm still trying to work everything out. But um, as soon as it's up, it'll be up. So make sure you guys are subscribed and that you can get notifications. I think if you hit the little bell icon underneath my video, you can um, get notifications in your email when I post new videos. That way you can see when it goes up. And it's just going to be a random giveaway. It'll be US only. Um, I'm sorry. I just can't afford to send anything overseas right now. I just sent some books overseas and it's expensive. <laughs> so, And these will be heavier. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be US only. And I'm really, really hoping to get two boxes of stuff and it's going to be completely random you guys I'm going to try to make it as even as possible so there's the same amount of stuff and the same type of stuff in each box but I can't do like specific things I just can't um, but I will have a mixed media box as well like a small one okay so that's what's happening and I hope that answers questions let me know if you guys have any more and again hopefully the first week of May I will have the giveaway video up so be on the lookout for that if you guys want a chance to win uh, one of the boxes so that's going to be it for me today. Um, I'm going to keep on purging so I can have more videos for you guys soon. And I will see you guys again later. Have a great day. Bye.